Let's go back to one of our top stories where lobbying for the position of African Union Commission chairperson intensify in Ethiopia capital Addis Ababa today, just one day before the elections. Kenya, which is seeking to win the seat through Foreign Affairs Secretary Amina Mohammed, was also not left behind. Amina is hoping to replace outgoing Tlamini Zuma by winning that position. Our reporter Duncan Khaimba is in Addis Ababa and now joins us live for an update on that story. Three hours before that crucial election takes place tomorrow here at the AU headquarters in Addis, a high-stake election that has a new twist. Of course, we know that the Kingdom of Morocco has applied that they be allowed to join the Commission or the AU before that election takes place. The Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic, a neighbor to Morocco, has vehemently opposed to that, and it appears Kenya could as well have taken that position. We happened to talk to CS Najib Balala, who is here leading the Kenyan delegation, who told us what could as well be interpreted as Kenya equally opposed to Morocco being allowed to join the AU before that crucial election. Do you think Morocco will be a spoiler? Well, uh, first of all, I think the understanding up to last night is uh, let's sort out with the issues of African Union and the issues of uh, the elections, and then we can discuss with the uh, issue of Morocco uh, joining back uh, the African Union. C.S. Balala says intense lobbying is in top gear and we speak. They are continuing to rally more members to their side. Well, we have put a strategy in place uh, that was very effective. And uh, so far, we are optimistic. But elections are elections. They are unpredictable. You don't know what will happen. But uh, we are certain this is the time, it's Kenya's time. And it's not just about Kenya, it's about transforming the African Union as well as being effective in social development uh, for Africa. Interestingly, it appears member states are lobbying in terms of regional blocks. Of course, we know that Kenya is banking on the ESC community. And then, of course, other candidates from their regional blocks are also banking on their blocks. As of what CS Balala has confirmed, it will depend on who rallies a better block that has more numbers to their side. Uh, how are things shaping up? Of course, we know that uh, Chad Senegal could be giving Kenya run for their money. Have you lobbied enough in terms of um, the assurance from uh, some unpredictable members within blocks like SADC, ESC? Well, uh, we are aware about uh, the candidates, uh, but definitely I can tell you we are, in the, we are going to go on the second round. Uh, and then uh, the choice is between the two, and then uh, the member states will decide who will be the chair of the African Union Commission. For more on the latest developments here, we'll keep you updated in our subsequent bulletin. From Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, my name is Duncan Haemba. Over to you, Michael Gitonga.